Hey everybody, happy Friday. I'm having some weird phone issues. My screen is very dark, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> this will work every week. You just never know what's gonna happen on Facebook Live. Okay, good, I can see me on my iPad, but I cannot see me on my phone, which is super weird. All right, good, it looks like I see you guys joining. Hello, hello, hello. All right, boy, do I have a lot of stuff this week to tell you, to show you, because I'm gonna be out of town next week. So I've got two weeks worth of things to tell you. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much happening. I hope you guys have had a great week. I can't believe we're already towards the end of July. One week left, which also is exciting because that means these catalogs go live very soon. Um, I paper clipped them so that I would remember not to open them <laughs> because we can't show the inside of the catalog, which is funny. Um, I've done it before and I forget and then I just start flipping through it and then I'll get in trouble. So I paper clipped them. But anyway, um, we've got celebration starting again. Um, both of these go live August 3rd. Okay, so celebration, and there's some beautiful paper in here. Um, and then the holiday catalog. Yay, I'm so excited about the holiday catalog. Look, I almost flipped through it. That's why I paper clipped it, because I can't remember. If you need these catalogs, let me know. I'm leaving town tomorrow, so it'll be a while before I can mail them, like a week. But if you need them, I'm happy to send them um, if you don't have them. My earring is bothering me. I haven't worn earrings in a while, and this one's bothering me. I don't know what's going on with my ears. Anyhow, um, I'm gonna, let's see, that, no, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna show you that when I flip the cameras around. Oh, I forgot to write down the names, but I have them for our prizes. You guys, it has been a week. <laughs> it just is crazy. Um, it has been a week. Just know that it has been a crazy, crazy week around here. Okay, let me run through some things to tell you. Designer, designer series paper sale is from now until um, August 2nd. Um, there are nine different packs of paper that are 15% off. Um, make sure you grab those, your favorite paper that you've been waiting to buy, or your favorite paper that you want to have an extra pack of. Now is the time to do it. Um, the In Good Taste paper pack is usually $21, and it's $17.85 now, which is a I think a pretty good price. Um, it's a bigger pack of paper. You get more paper in there, and it has all those texture designs that you can use you know throughout the year with lots of things so uh, make sure you shop that okay um then i want to tell you <clears throat> the tutorial all-star bundle um this is going to be the last time that i'm going to remind you about the subscription because i won't be here next friday so this is the last friday that i'm going to tell you that this is the only month you can subscribe to this. You cannot subscribe to this until January again. When you subscribe, you get the sixth month for free. There's 12 tutorials every month. Um, there are video tutorials from 12 different Stampin' Up! designers. You can earn this for free by spending $50 with me online. Um, you can buy it in my PDF store for $15, um, or you can subscribe. It's $15 a month and then the sixth month is free, all right? So if you haven't subscribed, cutoff is July 31st. So make sure if you want that, you um, subscribe. There's information at the bottom of today's blog post. Um, I have notes here, make sure that I have telling you everything, $15 a month, or you can pay for all of it up front, but you still get the six month free either way. Okay, so check that out. This is this month's project from me. We're doing the Expressions in Ink Suite. It's so weird, you guys. My phone is completely dark. I can barely make out any shapes and I can't see myself, so it's just very weird. Anyway, here's my tutorial this month. And I actually finished my tutorial for next month. It's very cute. It's very cute. So that'll be coming out the August. One will be coming out August 1st. If you are a subscriber, you've already subscribed, I have emailed this month's PDF to everybody. So if you didn't get it, message me, email me, because that means that it went to spam or it didn't arrive. Um, been having a lot of problems with that lately, emails not being delivered. So if you haven't gotten it yet, make sure that you email me. And if you don't hear back from me, then message me on Facebook. 
sometimes I reach out to people via Facebook if their emails keep bouncing. Um, so anyhow, all right, so that's that. Let's see, um, tidings and trimmings. This is the August Club Create class. I'm not gonna have an, a regular class to go in August. I might get one out towards the end of August, but this is gonna be the only kind of class that I'm offering. It's Club Create. It features the tidings and trimmings bundle from the annual catalog, but we're using paper and ribbon from the new holiday catalog. You'll get paper and ribbon in your kit. Um, this, the, the deadline to sign up for this is August 7th. Uh, it's $39. It includes five projects, a video, and about $20 in product, $20, $25 in product, and shipping, includes shipping. You can add on the bundle at a discount. Well, not a discount. I pay the shipping and tax. I'm not calling it a discount. I pay the shipping and tax for you if you add it on. Um, so you have until August 7th. If you just want the PDF slash video, it is available in my PDF store. And um, Club Create people, friends, I sent you an email today. Hopefully you got it. I Hopefully it went out. I may need to double check that. I scheduled it. I think it already went out. But you'll be getting it from me either today or tomorrow. Um, next month, September, I think Club Create will be the penguin, the cute penguin set. But stay tuned. Don't hold me to it. Stay tuned, okay? All right, let me move that up here. Club Create also, when you subscribe, it charges you every month until you cancel. You can sign up for one month and then cancel after one month if you just want that, that one. You could stay for two months, you could stay for 12 months, whatever. But if you stay for six months, then you get to pick out $25 in product of your choice, kind of like uh, Stampin' Rewards, okay? All right, I'm gonna flip you guys around and talk to you a little bit more about the well, I have several little things to, to tell you about, but the paper and ribbon shares, um, I want to make sure you guys have all that information. It says trying to reconnect, so let's see if you guys are still there. There's like an eight second delay, so um, I think you guys are still there, right? You still there? I know, it's like, um, you know, when some, when they go to space, there's like that 60 seconds of silence <laughs> you're like are you there are you there um okay good christine i'm back you never know you never know fingers crossed kids are home using the internet so that sometimes is, makes things a little bit of a problem hey ellie i think she's ellie well, i thought she was in here i was going to tell her to tell your sisters to get off the internet anyhow um Ribbon and paper shares. This is the ribbon from the holiday catalog. Ribbon share is two yards each, okay? Um, you'll get two yards of all these beautiful ribbons. Look at this ribbon, you guys, if you haven't seen it yet. Oh my gosh, we're gonna use it today, in fact. Um, and then the pool party ribbon. That is so cute. And then the real red ruffled ribbon. Oh my gosh, very cute. So that's the ribbon share. Then the paper share, and I don't have all the paper here because guess what? The last two days I have been designing, 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 and I have cut into all my paper. So your paper share, you can get it either six by six or six by 12, okay? You'll get um, a half or quarter sheet, depending on which size you pick, of every piece of new designer series paper in the holiday catalog. Um, I'm just showing you some of them right now. This is the paper we're using for Club Create next month. And I have a, several packs of some of these. Let's see, isn't that beautiful? I love that one. Then this is like the fall paper. Really cool, fun colors, not your typical fall colors. So the paper share, and I have it right here. If you get a six by six and you're only getting the designer series paper, it's $26. If you get the 12 by 12, which is a half sheet of all of it, it's $38. Um, that doesn't include shipping. We add on $8 for priority flat rate shipping. That's the cheapest and most reliable, if that's saying anything, way to ship it. Look at this paper. Wait, just wait for it. Hold on. Wait, look at that. Now wait, hold on. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it if I ever can find it. It's at the front, of course. Look. I've already used it. So beautiful. Okay, so then there's this second option, six by six or 12 by 12. You get all 
of the papers, just like I told you, plus the specialty paper. This is one of the specialty papers, it's cork. There's also some foils, some um, glitter paper. I don't have them all. Uh, I should have, let's see, there's the black glitter, the silver foil, um, the red and green foil. It's all listed over on my blog. So you can get it just the designer series paper, six by six or six by 12, or all the designer series paper plus the specialty papers. Um, you'll get the same size, either six by six or six by 12, okay? Um, so here are the prices. The DS, the six by six, both is 36. Um, six by 12, both is 54. When you get those two, you're also gonna get a sample of all the celebration papers. So that's a pretty good deal. And then ribbon is $22. You're getting two yards of all ribbon. Um, it will ship for free, no additional shipping if you add it to your paper, because we can put it in that flat rate envelope. If you get it by yourself, it's $5 to ship. All flat, all shipping is $8 flat rate. Padded envelope, deadline to sign up is August 2nd, because I'm gonna put that order in on August 3rd, okay? Um, Christine says that second paper, the pink one, this one right here, is so pretty. I mean, this paper is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, it doesn't look like Christmas colors, right? But it's like a snowflakes. And this paper, they did a good job with the paper. They did a very good job. To sign up for that, you have to email me for that link. I can't list it on um, social media or my blog. So message me, email me. Um, and I will send you that link, okay? All right, now, oh, and then look, I wanted to point out too, this is how I send my paper shares, okay? I don't individually wrap them all. That would increase cost, and it would take me longer to get it to you. So it's all like this together in a cello bag, um, just so that you know, okay? Um, Denise wraps the ribbon around cardboard. Um, she's always looking for good ways to ship the ribbon, so um, that comes you know, separated and uh, wrapped a little bit, but your paper's gonna come like that, okay? All right, so I'm starting a new special. As you guys know, this is Facebook Friday, so if you like today's Make and Takes, it's the same, you will get all three Make and Takes for free with an order of $35 or more by Monday at midnight, okay? That's the same. That offer ends on Monday, but there's an additional offer Got to straighten that. My phone is crooked. Um, there's an additional offer while I am gone because I'm going on vacation next week. And I'm bringing back the Dog Days of Summer Stamp and Blends giveaway. For every $50 you spend with me from, and started yesterday, from yesterday through August 2nd, I'm going to send you Stamp and Blends for free. So if you spent $150, you get through to pick out three different colors of Stamp and Blends. If you pick, if you purchase $60, you get to pick out one pack of Stampin' Blends. Now you can get both the Stampin' Blends and the Make and Takes for free if you put your order in by Monday at midnight. But starting Tuesday, the Make and Take offer is gone, okay? So starting Tuesday, it would just be the Stampin' Blends, which is still good because they're $9 a pack. Um, now, sometimes I will tell you guys that you don't have to use the host code if your order is over $150. But with this offer, you have to use the host code. I use those Stampin' Rewards to help offset the cost of those Stampin' Blends. You have to use the host code. There's a link where you can go over to a form and fill it out and let me know what colors you want. Um, you don't have to email me. You just There's a link there on my blog. It'll be on every blog post next week. Um, let me see what else I needed to tell you about that. The host code is the same as the Make and Takes. You'll get both blends and make and takes if your order is by Monday at midnight. And you'll when you when your order is $50, you also get that all-star tutorial bundle for free, which is awesome. Okay, so does that make sense? Everybody got that? It's not that complicated. I just feel like I butcher it when I try to explain it. All right, we've got um, prizes. And let me get my sticky notes because I wrote it down in my notebook, but I didn't write it down in the sticky notes. Hold on. I've got two prizes this week for two people who shared. And let me write their names down. Cheryl Wright. I keep everybody's name in my notebook so that I remember 
try not to double up too much. Yvonne Ware. So congratulations, Yvonne and Cheryl. If you will email me your mailing addresses, I will get these out. I probably won't get them out until the first week of August, but I will still get them out. So email me, okay? Thank you for sharing my video. Um, the way that you are entered to win a prize is by sharing the video either on Facebook or on YouTube. And these are my, I've got three prizes this week. I'll pick three winners for Create with Friends. I love this stamp set. Um, you can get it for free if I choose your name. So make sure you share and put in the comments that you shared so that I know. And um, when I am back on August, what's the, that first Friday of August? Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. August 6th, I will draw three winners. All right. All right. Now we are down to the end. So this week measure of love. I love this stamp set so, so much. Every week when I'm not on vacation <laughs> for Facebook Friday, I pick either a, a stamp set or a bundle usually, and I make three projects with it. Um, so that's what we're doing this week. You can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and this PDF is under the last photo. Has anybody checked? Is it up? Um, the measurements are all here, the supply list are here, and then look, everything I just talked to you about is here too. That host code is there as well. All right, so it's free, print it, save it, download it, whatever you want. That way you'll have all the information to make the three projects. Um, if your order is in by Monday at midnight, I will send you the make and takes and they will not come next week. Remember, they'll come later, the first week of August because I'm gonna be gone next week. Um, and this is kind of what they look like. They come with most everything done except stamping. I do not do any stamping. Um, I will cut, um, score, punch, whatever you need. I don't, I also don't emboss. Um, you'll have to emboss your own papers. You have to stamp and emboss. Um, but all these other things I'm going to have die cut for you. Let me look. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, so anyway, okay. Those will ship for free as a thank you the first week of August. All right, let's get started. Let me move some things around and we'll get started. Do you guys have this stamp set? This was probably one of my most favorites when I saw the new catalog. Did not wait to get my hands on it and it's turned out really, really cute. All right, now I have two. <laughs> They're gonna laugh at me. No, I'm not even going to tell you. I have, I, admit, I did something to my stamp set, so no, I have two. Okay, let me see. Did I miss any questions? Okay, good. They're all up. Um, good is up. Da, 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 da. Thanks for the shares. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay, Wendy, you don't have it yet. So this one is so cute. There are no dies associated with this, so you know there's going to be a little bit of fussy cutting, but you can do it, I promise. All right, let's start with this first one. Um, this is, we're just gonna do a card and I'm gonna show you how to color your um, scale so it looks kind of vintage. Now, I did uh, record, pre-record these. There are clean recordings of these over on YouTube. So if you come back and you wanna watch it, um, you wanna make it, you can go to that. It's, they're all like 12, 13 minutes. Um, they don't, they're not too terribly long. All right, now where did I put my white card stuck? You know what, when I, okay, I'm gonna have to cut some more. When I um, did this, here it is, right here. Right, that's the right size. Yeah. When I um, recorded the clean recording, I messed up, so I had to pull this one. Hopefully we don't mess up today. All right, now remember, all the measurements are on the PDF, so I'm not gonna just shout out all the measurements to you, okay? We're gonna start with Stamparatus. I have found that lining these guys up is a little, well, it's not difficult, but it is gonna be perfect if you use your Stamparatus. All right, so I've got a piece of basic white and I'm gonna set my stamp down right here at the bottom and then I pick it up. If your photopolymer stamps are sticky, too sticky, and when you set it down and it pulls that paper up, even with your magnets, take the stamp 
you know how you de-sticky a sticker? You know, you like stick it on your clothes and on your skin. Do that to your stamp and it will become less sticky. Also, after you stamp it a couple times, it will be less sticky and it won't pick up your paper like that. Because that can be trouble, <laughs> problematic when you need your paper to stay exactly in the same space. Okay, all right, Memento Black. And my Stamparatus is filthy. I noticed that when I was editing my video. Sorry. All right, there. Now we're gonna take that. Let me just show you. When you take that off, don't do what I did. And because of my first stamp, I ripped that. It's delicate, so be careful. It still works just fine, but darn it. I don't like having a torn stamp, so be careful when you take your stamps off your blocks. All right, now let me make sure that's clean because it looks like it's not. All right, the bold. I'm gonna have to pull this down and get my head right on top so that I can see. I'm gonna do this little cute bowl. Pick that up and stamp that. Yeah, dirt just means it's well loved for sure, Carla. And you know, um, stays on too. That stays on right there, so that's hard to get off. Ooh, that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> now we need, I forgot what I'm making. I gotta look at my sample. Okay. There's this right here. And I believe that they're supposed to be cherries. And in one of the cards, actually it's the project I'm going to show you on Monday. I use the little um, stems, but I think they look like a, like a bowl full of hearts. So we're just going to make them hearts on here. Okay. Line that up. I'm going to move. Mm. Be careful with your magnets. They will jump together. So make sure that's lined up. Pick that up. And I am using Flirty Flamingo. Flirty Flamingo and Pool Party is a lovely combination, don't you guys think? Lovely. All right, now we've got our bowl full of hearts. There we go. All right. Now, let me take that off because I'll forget and I'll think I've lost it. Now, we're going to color with Stampin' Blends. We've done this technique before and um, I love it. Usually, when I color with blends, I do a whole solid coat, right? But this I learned from somebody else um, when I was... I don't know, looking for something on Pinterest and I saw how she colored. Um, I can't even remember what it was, but it was so cute. Maybe it was the kangaroo. She outlines it basically, or inlines it. I don't know what, you, going on the inside of the line, not the outside, but going along the edge and then go along the circle. Now don't worry too much about, it's kind of hard to stay out of the line or out of the circle, but we're gonna we're gonna stamp that again on white and punch it out. Actually, are we doing that here? No, we're not. That's on the other project, the next project. But you can do that. If you mess up and you get pink in your little circle there, just stamp it again and punch it out. It's a one and a fourth inch circle. All right, so see how I'm taking my color lifter and I'm blending those colors together. It kind of lightens it, and it drags those colors towards the middle. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing to the top part of this scale. And I think I think what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna, that's the dark. I'm gonna take the light and do just a little bit of light also, right there. And then I'm gonna take my color lifter and just blend it all together. Very nice, very nice. Oops, nope, not that yet. Hold on, hold on. We gotta do the the neck. I call it the neck. I don't know what it's called. That part right there. All right. So very vintagey. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit more down here. Whoops, I did a little a lot more. Add a little bit of color there. And that color lifter will kind of take that color and bleed it in to the other. And make it pretty light and shiny. All right, now let's do pool party for the bowl. 
I gotta remember to stamp the little arm thing on the, the scale. Don't let me forget. Cause I can imagine that I will forget. All right, so I'm gonna go across there. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. Let me make sure I don't have any color on my color lifter. That color lifter just takes that color. It doesn't erase it, but it lightens it and it kind of spreads it out a little bit. Hmm, where's my light? Oh, party. I guess I don't have it. All right, I'm gonna add some more color. I mean, I could do this all day. Okay, how's that look? It's hard for me not to just go and color it all in, but that's a really cool look. Give it a try. All right, here's the, the scale arm, the hand. I don't know, I don't know the name. Somebody's gonna say it and be like, yeah, that makes sense. So stamp that. You can use your stamp for if you need to. And now we're just going to put that, if I can find my adhesive, on a black mat. Now you guys, I, if you were the What's Cooking class, those went out yesterday. I did not think I was gonna get them out before I went on vacation. And I'm so proud to say that they all went out, which left me time to start working on design work. So I've got lots of things to show you next week on my blog. Make sure you check my blog every day next week because I've got lots and lots of sneak peeks of the new catalogs coming. Whoa, I almost knocked that off. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna emboss with this embossing folder. And this is called the Pretty Flowers embossing folder, which made me laugh when I looked it up because that's, you know, a pretty good name, Pretty Flowers. So let's see, I need to get my other plate. Now, this is not one of our thick embossing folders. So I am gonna leave one and two on here and put it down, put number four on top and run it through. This is a really nice embossing folder. Look at that. Even though it's not one of our thick 3D embossing folders, it looks really good. I feel like it almost does look like that, those 3D folders that we have. All right, now I can make room for everything. Let's load all of this up onto our card. First, I'm gonna put this on a basic black mat. Right like that. Then, here's my favorite. Um, this is the um, pattern, pattern Party Designer Series paper, free. When you spend over $150, it's uh, $18 in Stammer Rewards, which you can get when you spend $150. You'll have $15 in Stammer Rewards, which you can apply towards that giant pack of adorable paper. All right, if I can get my adhesive, I don't know what's going on with my adhesive all day today and yesterday, it's just not even catching. All right, so I cut that corner to corner, also known as diagonally. Okay, we're gonna put that on there. And then I have cut a, oh, would you please, come on, there we go. A basic white scalloped border. This is not from the basic border dies, whoops. This is from the contoured scallop dies. Shannon, I love that black and white paper too. You would think that I would get tired of black and white check because I use it all the time. Every time we have it, I use it nonstop. Um, but I love it. I've loved it for a long time. I even have a chair in my house that is black and, well, kind of a tan and black because white, a white, black and white chair would be disgusting in my house. <laughs> it would be filthy. All right, did I use dimensionals? I did. I have to tell you guys, speaking of filthy, we woke up this morning to sick dogs and we keep them in the laundry room at night. They have their kennels in there. And let me tell you, it was 
the most awful thing I've ever had to, to do, to do, <laughs> to clean it up. <sighs> you know, when you wake up like that, the rest of the day, you just feel like, girl, you know, like, ugh, yuck. And that's how I feel. All right, dimensionals on there. Like that. Now I have cut out a, everything has a smudge on it. Look, it's got a smudge on it. And we'll use, well, I don't want to use that side. You know, I have this eraser. Let's see if it works. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. To remove ink. It's, I don't even know what it's called. It's from Amazon. Let's see. Well, it made it a little bit lighter. It's kind of like a gritty eraser. Somebody will know the name. They'll, they'll say what it is. It works somewhat. Um, let's stamp that in pool party. So, um, <laughs> thanks Tiffany. I'm glad you like it. I absolutely love it too. Pink, um, flirty flamingo, pool party, and black and white. I mean, just a match made in heaven. <laughs> so yeah, this Friday, yeah, that, um, just, oh, awful. But then last Friday, my daughter broke her, well, this part of her finger right here and is now in a cast. Um, hold on, I got to tell you what I'm doing. So I'm putting one over here and two over here because we already have one under here and I need it to be even. That makes sense, okay? So daughter in a cast, it's the first cast we've ever had. None, none of our girls have ever had a cast. Um, I don't know how we've gotten this far without a cast. And I had no idea how miserable a cast was. Apparently, it's very, 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 very miserable. <laughs> and we leave for Florida tomorrow. So I'm not quite sure how that trip's going to go with a 12-year-old who cannot get in the water. Fun times. Fun way to end the summer, that's for sure. All right, black and white <laughs> playful pets. Um, black and white trim right there on the bowl and there you go so cute now the sentiment says love you more mm, you, you, you know I don't know you might not not really be able to use that sentiment that may be kind of like eh. so change the sentiment right I mean you could use you could use sentiment other sentiments in this set you could I mean sweet friend is really cute that could be a thank you or whatever um, but don't forget, just because a sentiment says something doesn't mean you cannot use that card. Like, oh, that doesn't apply. Just change the sentiment. Um, by the way, I didn't mention that that is from the message die. You guys know I'm like obsessed with the message die. I didn't like it at first. And now I pretty much use it on every single project. Okay. Card number one is done. I'm glad you guys like it. It's, I think it's pretty darn cute for myself. All right, let me move all of this and we'll go to card number two. Now, card number two. Oh, look, there's my light pool party marker. <laughs> um, by the way, these are Stampin' Blends. If you're unsure, this is what I'm giving away all next week. With every $50 you order, you can pick out a set of Stampin' Blends, okay? I love them. I use them constantly. They make everyone look like an artist, even if you're not a good colorer. They have no streak marks. They're awesome. This card is a little more involved, let's say. I used four different dies, die sets for this little bakery um, scene. And can you guess what the utensil holder is? Which die that is? I will show you in just a second. Okay, let's get all that. Here's the message die, by the way. Love it, love it. We're using, we used that on the last card. This time we're using this one right here. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do all of our die cutting first. So let me get all my pieces. I already cut our label, okay? I'm gonna put all of those up here so that I don't lose them. Then we're gonna cut this. These are the cooking dies that I just did that big class on. Um, they're awesome. They go really well with this set. So there's that, like a cutting board. I have one of these in my kitchen that has, it's an easel back, right? And it sits like that and it has a ledge and you put your 
you know, your cookbook or your recipe. I don't ever use cookbooks. It's all recipes printed out, sit on that ledge. So that's kind of what I think that is. It's a cutting board, but that's what we're using it for. The whisk right there, basic gray. The spatula, you know, why don't I go ahead and start putting these on this so I don't have to pick them all up again. Cutting board, crumb cake cutting board, by the way. Daffodil Delight spatula. Hey, by the way, you guys, when I was typing up my class to go, that class kit, I called this a spatula, but then I was calling this a spatula. And I was like, wait a minute, aren't they both a spatula? They're totally different. So I looked it up and I think this is a turner. What do you guys think? Do you call it a turner or spatula? I mean, it's a spatula, but then so is this, I don't know. It was a conundrum. I did not know what to call it. So <laughs> if you read my PDF, you might say, which spatula is she talking about? All right, so we've got Daffodil Delight, Crumb Cake, Basic Gray. Um, now, we're not using the Turner or the other spatula. Um, the little clothes pins that I'm using to clip our little um, label to the cutting board is from the Baby Clothes Dies. Tiny little clothes pins right there. Now, here's the utensil turner. Flipper, Chris, you call it a flipper. Flipper majig, yes, it's a turner. Turner doesn't sound right. I wonder if that's a regional thing. Like in the South, we call it a spatula. Denise, what do you call it? Denise and I live in the same city. Carly, you call it a flipper, scraper, and flip, scraper. Well, yeah, scraper, okay, yeah. I've probably called that a scraper too. Flipper, rubber scraper, hmm. All right, see, see, maybe I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I just didn't know. All right, for the little holder, do you recognize these? These are the um, all dressed up. Is that what they're called? Best all dressed up? Yeah, all dressed up dice. You know, the purse. It's the lipstick. That's what we're going to use. I was pretty proud of myself with that one. Okay, so I think that's all we need to cut. So let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. Carefully put that on there. These dies are great by themselves. They obviously cut out shapes from the What's Cooking stamp set, but they also are great on their own. Um, even if you don't have the stamp set and you end up with the dies, you still would get a lot of use out of it. The cutting board die, I'm gonna use my magnetic plate. Put those right there so I don't lose them. I have other things in my magnetic plate. Um, the cutting board die embosses also, isn't that cute? And there's our spatula. There's our whisk. Do you guys call it a whisk? Surely, there's not another name for that. And then there's the little clothespins. And I'm gonna leave the clothespins in there. Oh, came out. I'm gonna leave those clothespins over here because they're very tiny. And we're gonna get those little pieces out of our whisk. Now the lipstick, it's not a lipstick today. It is going to be our utensil crock or holder. I have one of these in my kitchen. So down here, I'm just gonna take my scissors and just kind of cut a smile like that, okay? And there's your little utensil crock. Scraper, y'all are still saying. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Well, I, you know, it's it's really funny when you start talking to people from other places, how things you didn't even think of that, that people would call differently, you know? I remember my daughter went to, went on a mission trip. What I'm doing is I'm putting these on the back, flipped over, and I'm just going to put some dimensionals to squeeze them down. My daughter went on a um, mission trip years ago to... Oh, I think they were in Wyoming and um, there was another group there that was from Colorado and here in South Texas. Oh, I forgot to do this. We're gonna have to bring that over here in South Texas. We call a breakfast taco, a breakfast taco, right? Tortilla, eggs, bacon, sausage, whatever. Right. But she thought it was hilarious that the kids from Colorado called it a breakfast burrito not a taco 
<laughs> so, you know, just little things like that. Where's my Bobby Bowler? She, they also played a trick on them. They said something about pancakes and they all were like, what? What's a pancake? We've never heard of a pancake before. Obviously we have, we have pancakes down here too. <laughs> Silly kids. But she just thought it was hilarious. A breakfast burrito. It's not called a breakfast burrito. You know, I think a breakfast burrito would be bigger than a breakfast taco. Right? A burrito tortilla is large. She obviously hasn't been to Taco Bell. We have lots of tacos down here in San Antonio. All right, so I just use the checks embossing folder. They, it comes in a pair, the dots, this polka dot, and then this one is the checkered, which is perfect for like a kitchen. Um, these are designed um, specifically for your mini cut and emboss machine. They fit perfectly if all you have is, your, is a mini you can get these. But as you saw, you can also use it on your regular size um, cut and a boss machine. All right, so I've got a Daffodil Delight card base. And do I have adhesive somewhere right here? You call them breakfast burritos too? Yeah, <laughs> Cindy, pancakes. Pancakes are pretty universal, I think. And waffles. Yeah, they act like, what? We've never heard of a waffle or pancake. Silly kids. All right, there we go with that. Now I'm gonna have a big debate all week. I'm gonna see people commenting on here. Burrito, taco, Danielle, hashtag burrito. Now, I'm not saying a breakfast burrito. My husband would love a burrito instead of tacos because a burrito would be huge, right? This is basic gray designer series paper from the neutrals designer series paper pack. All right, let's load our little bakery scene up. Why can't I keep things where they need to be instead of just throwing things around? All right, we're gonna start with this guy. He's gonna be kind of the center point. Flapjacks. Now, she probably would not know flapjacks. Terry, that's for sure. Flap, I don't think she'd know flapjacks. I don't think so. All right, there's that. I know flapjacks. And we're gonna put that there. Oh, you know, we haven't even done the, oh, hold on. Let's see, um, yeah, we're gonna wait. We haven't even done the cupcakes. Hello, the, the main thing. The cupcakes. Okay, let me get those out because we're gonna color those with Stampin' Blends. I'm so, I'm so um, distracted with the talk of burritos and tacos and flapjacks that I lost my, I lost what we were doing. Okay, cupcakes, pyramid, memento black. Then we're also going to get our scale and we just need the bottom part right there because we're going to use that as like the plate for the cupcakes. Now come back with our stamp and blends and I am using, I'm not using Daffodil Delight, I'm actually using So Saffron. So maybe I should have used So Saffron card base, maybe, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Still looks good. I went with So Saffron because I felt like that was pretty close to like a buttercream vanilla. I wanted our cupcakes to just be normal cupcakes. All right, so I'm gonna just do all light So Saffron. And I know some of you are like thinking, now how is she gonna cut that out? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. It does involve some fussy cutting, but I'm gonna show you the easy way. All right, so I'm going back under these little creases with my dark So Saffron. Okay, let's give it a little dimension. And then I'm gonna get my light crumb cake for the cupcake papers. Maybe I should have done, oh, you know, it doesn't matter. This is a neutral and no one cares. I could have done Smoky Slate for these. I don't know. I don't think I'd want cupcakes with gray cupcake papers. But is tan any better? I don't know. I don't know. Am I overthinking it? Yes. I don't think anybody who gets this card is going to be like, oh my god, you have so saffron cupcakes, daffodil delight card base, and tan colored cupcake papers. No. Nobody's going to be thinking that. 
All right, so now I'm taking my dark and I'm putting kind of a shadow under each of those little cupcakes. Okay, like that. And then I'm just gonna go back with my light and blend it all together. It's getting toasty in here. I have to turn my fan off because it shakes the camera and it's a little toasty. Today is our first day of no rain and like three months, which is bizarre for us. We don't usually get rain very often. Um, and so today they said no rain. I think for the next week, they're like, we're finally drying out. But you know what that means? Hot as the surface of the sun. August in Texas is just dumb, y'all. It is bad. It's dumb. Nobody should be in Texas in August. Nobody. Okay, fussy cutting. I know, I can hear the complaints right now. You know what? You just gotta get on board. You just gotta get on board with the fussy cutting. All right, so I'm just gonna take my scissors, my smallest, sharpest pair, and I'm not even following my own, my own instructions, which is to get rid of all that extra cardstock. Okay, so this one's the easy part, right? There's our plate. Now, we're not gonna cut these cupcakes out separately. We're gonna cut them out in a pyramid and they're all gonna stay connected. So basically what I'm gonna do is just go around the outside. Because if you cut them out individually, which you can totally do, it's going to, then you're gonna have all these teeny tiny pieces. So you either gotta be really organized and not have trash on your desk, or you're gonna lose them. So I'm just gonna keep our little pyramid. It reminds me of the skiers, you know, those skiers that uh, are in a pyramid on the ski. <laughs> I follow somebody on Instagram whose kids are taking skiing lessons and they've been doing pyramids, these kids on skis. So that's why it reminds me of that. I just think that's awesome. The only other time I've ever seen that was at SeaWorld with the professional skiers. All right. <laughs> That was really random. Um, down we go, do, 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 all the way around. All right, so I stayed right on the outside of the black line and that's how I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna leave it like that and it's gonna be totally fine, all right? All right, now let's put a little bit of glue right here. I can see you guys' comments, I can see them going by. But if I look up, then I'm gonna get sucked in and then I'm gonna forget what I'm doing. So I'm gonna just keep on keeping on. All right, there. Now, back to where we were over here. Carol says, fussy cutting is so easy. I love fussy cutting, Carol, but I think we're in the minority. I don't think everybody loves fussy cutting. Look how cute they are. Aren't they cute? All right, now let's stamp this in basic gray. This time we're using that little sweet friend, which is a great sentiment. It can be used for lots of things. And we're gonna glue this flat. Oh my gosh, I gotta learn how to use adhesive. Obviously I don't know how to use adhesive. So glue that down or adhere that down. Now these teeny tiny little babies right here. Get your, take your pick tool. It's gonna be way easier if you do that. I guarantee it. Get your, your little putty end and just pick those up and set them down in that glue. Look, isn't that easy? Pick it up, set it down. If you don't have a take your pick tool, what are you waiting for? You need it. It is comes in so handy. All right, did I forget anything? I feel like I got off track talking about all kinds of weird stuff. This piece right here is from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. It is the largest stitched scalloped rectangle. All right, now, look, I'm not using a coordinating color again. I'm using, this time, ribbon that is gray granite. But you know what? Again, it's fine. It doesn't have to be the exact same color. All right, gray granite ribbon around the edge 
around the center, not the edge, the center of our designer series paper strip. Cut those ends off. Wow, that bow looks pretty good. Didn't require a whole lot of messing around. All right, I'm gonna use this long piece right here since it's available. And I'm gonna put, <laughs> Carol, well, you know, I've made this, this is the third time I've made this card. By the time you guys see it on Facebook Friday, it's the third time I've made it. If I didn't do my, oh, you know what? This needs to go a little bit higher. Look at that, it comes right off. If I didn't do my clean recording, which is really my dress rehearsal for Facebook Friday, there'd be a lot of more, a lot more mistakes, I guarantee it. I still didn't put that up high enough. Well, it's gonna have to do right there. And voila, we are done with that card. What do you guys think? You can change the colors, make your cupcakes rainbow. I don't care, do whatever. But you gotta use your spatula, AKA scraper and your whisk and your lipstick to make a little utensil holder. It's so cute. And then get those little tiny clothespins cause they're cute too. So four different die sets, the What's Cooking dies. I, can, I think they were actually just called Cooking dies, right? Let me look and see what I wrote. Yep, Cooking dies, sounds weird. Stitch So Sweetly dies, All Dressed Up dies, and the Message die, and the Baby Clothes dies, so five dies. <laughs> Worth it. All right, good. I'm glad you guys like it. One more. I saved the best for last. Well, maybe not. If you don't like 3Ds, this isn't going to be your favorite, but you know how I feel about 3D projects. What time is it? Ooh, I'm kind of a little bit early today. Usually it's 3 o'clock when I start my third project. I'm getting a reminder over here to pay my credit card. Okay, enough. Not, not now. All right, how about a bakery box? This is a little like a milk carton bakery box and I am using a clothes pen from Walmart, Dollar Tree, whatever. Super cheap to hold it closed, okay? Anything you want could go in here. It's very cute and we're not gonna color the scale this time, we're gonna paper piece it. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Let's make our bakery box first. Let me get my Simply Scored. I always use a Simply Scored, guys, but you can also use your um, stamp and trimmer. I just prefer the Simply Scored. I think it's easier and you get a better indent. I don't know, personal preference. Okay, so let's look at my notes, which are right here. These measurements, everything is listed on this. All the measurements for all, all three projects. So right here is where the measurements for this is. 10 and a half by seven. We're gonna score the long side. If I typed it right, let's see if I did. Whoa, jump the track. Half an inch, three and a half inches, five and a half inches, eight and a half. Then turn it to the short side and do three fourths of an inch, two and a fourth, and five and a fourth. All right, now you gotta get your bone folder. You think you don't need it. You're not gonna spend your money on a bone folder, but let me tell you, once you have a bone folder, you're gonna say, why did I wait so long? It makes things so nice and crisp, especially when you are making 3D boxes. I used to be that person. I don't need one of those. Yes, yes you do. Okay, so here's the long side, this half inch down here, half inch edge. We're going to cut off just that bottom rectangle. That's it, all right? Now we're gonna add a couple more score lines to this, okay? I forgot. Where's my stylus? Actually, do I have my stylus? My t I have several take your pick tools because I don't wanna have to switch out during Facebook Live. So look, you can use a stylus on your take your pick tool. You need a ruler and a pencil. These two squares right here, we're gonna put diagonal score lines on those. So first you gotta see how big your square is. It's two inches, which means we're gonna put a mark at the one. Okay, so come over here, put a mark at the one. Now, 
you're going to go from that bottom corner up to that score, that little tick mark you made. Okay, like that. Use your ruler or your bone folder as a straight edge. Okay, and then over here we're going to do the same. Like that. Now we're going to do a score line straight up. And straight up. Okay? All right. Now, um, you know what? That's funny, Jen. She says, the only reason I don't use a simply scored is because I struggle with jumping the track. That happens a lot um, to me, too. Um, what I will say is some paper seems to be more, lean, lends itself more to jumping the track, and I don't know why. Um, if I also think that if you use the bigger end, at least for me, I'm less likely to jump that track um, on the Simply Scored. But I know what you mean. And I think, too, if you go kind of slow, that helps. But yeah, you know, when I'm scoring things for classes, like last week, I had to score a ton of things for the What's Cooking class. 150 kits times a ton of things that were scored. I jumped the track about four times each piece, each piece that I'm scoring. So then I have to redo it. But that's, I always, I always chalk that up to me going super fast, trying to get it done. All right, so what I'm doing, you guys have seen me do this before. I'm just cutting the corners off of those um, bottom squares. Now come over to your diagonal score lines and pinch them, get them primed and ready so that when we put this box together, they're gonna pop right in place. They're gonna know what to do. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's see if I can get my stamp and seal plus to work. There we go. Stamp and seal plus is super strong and it's good for this kind of project. All the way down, that's the only adhesive you're gonna use on that tab and you're gonna fold that over like that. Okay, and there is what it looks like. Then you'll pinch these and you do have to like tell it what to do. Did I fold this part? I did, okay. You have to remind it of its job. Okay, yeah, and it says, oh yeah, that's how you want me to fold, okay, see? But we gotta put this, we gotta close this up. So put these two in. I like to do the back first. Okay, and then the front. All right, now you can do ribbon, put holes in it if you want, but we're keeping it simple and we're just gonna use a clothespin. How cute is that, right? They're so cute. All right, let's make the tag for the front or the piece for the front. We're gonna stamp that scale in memento black on a piece of real red cardstock. Now, I am fussy cutting. Again, if you don't wanna fussy cut, that's okay. Stamp it on the white and color it. You don't have to, you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. Now I'm gonna also stamp it over here on this white because we're just gonna use that circle there, all right? Um, let's see, then I'm gonna stamp the little arm, the hand, whatever it's called, of the scale, right on this one. Oops, it was off a little bit, in real red. Now remember how I talked about your stamps being super sticky? This one <laughs> now isn't sticky enough. I gotta go wash it. When it loses its sticky, take it to the sink and wash it with Dawn dish soap and it will be sticky and perfect again. Now I have these, here we go, the little hearts in real red right there. Now I know we don't sell this punch anymore, but I'm still using it, and I know you guys are too. One and a fourth inch circle punch will punch that out perfectly. And then we'll get our scissors. I don't I want my small scissors. Those used to be my uh, ribbon scissors too, Christine, but 
Now they're just my everything scissors. Where did I put my small scissors? Are they on this tray over here? Hold on, hold on. Where did I put them? You guys, do you see them? They're under something. Yep, here they are. Okay, the bowl, it's easy. These, these two things are easier to cut out than the, that, um, that, that pyramid of cupcakes. That one's a little more tricky. I hear you, Pepper, but I'm busy. You can't come in right now. All right, the scale, I'm going to go around the edge. She's going to start barking at me until I let her in. I have the door cracked, and it's blocked. And she's like, excuse me. I get what I want when I want it. I'm a puppy. I haven't seen her all day. She's been upstairs with the girls. Let's see if she, she uh, will go away or she's going to continue to tell me to come let her in. All right, around and around we go. Almost done. See why I say you need to get on board with your fussy cutting because it's worth it. All right, we gotta do this part. This part's a little trickier. Pepper was not the one who was sick last night. It was our older guy and he was very sick. I'm not sure what happened because when he went to bed, he was just fine. Something happened overnight to change that. And he was very sick. <sighs> My husband and I said, that was pretty much the hardest thing we've ever done is clean all that up. Okay, there we go. Got that, put that on with a dimensional. Now let's come over here. I've got a piece of basic white and I'm using a little heart. Use whatever heart you have. This heart happens to come from the In Symmetry stamp set. And I'm just gonna stamp it all over this white piece. I'm gonna start in the middle and work my way down. And then, well, those aren't really spaced perfectly, but it's okay. And then we're just gonna fill in as we go. She went away. She's like, she gave up. She heard me say, it was a battle of the wills, that one. She is stubborn, hard-headed. She, she knows how to work the system. And it helps that she's super duper cute. There we go. But it's also bad. I need to I need to crack down. I need to take her to a dog, what do they call it? Um, doggy manners class. Our local place, that's what they call it, doggy manners. That's where she needs to go. All right, I put that on a basic black piece. And I've got a piece of vellum that's the same size. And I'm gonna put that right on top just to kind of tone everything down so it's not so busy. I put my adhesive right there because we're gonna cover that up with our scale. Um, I have found that the, um, what's this called, stamp and seal, is pretty good with vellum. You, you really can't see it very much unless you're putting vellum on a dark color. Um, it doesn't show through too bad. All right, we're gonna put our bowls, or a, not bowls, our bowl right there on top. And then, I should have done this first, but that's all right. I've got two hearts, hopefully. Hopefully. There it is. One is cut from Real Red DSP from the Regals paper pack. We're going to stick that one in there. And then we've got a black to stay within our color scheme. We'll put that black one in there, poking out. If I can get it in there. There we go. And now we'll come back and stick it down to the front of our box. Yep, that's the front. Okay, now sneaky peek time. I know you've already seen it, but my favorite ribbon from the holiday catalog. Of course I had to use it. It's perfect for this project, right? 
snip, snip. And we'll put that on a glue dot. I don't like the spatula end. I like the pokey end for that. You guys know what I'm talking about? There's the spatula and then I have one. There's the pokey, the piercing. And I like to do my glue dots with the piercing. For some reason that one doesn't work well for me. Okay, last but not least, our sentiment. Um, what color did I use? Real red. Uh, it says, our friendship tips the scale. Very clever. All right, I'm gonna stamp that right in the middle of this one inch by three inches, I believe. Basic white. And then I'm gonna use the pick a banner punch. And I'm gonna use one end for the pointy side and the other side for the flag side. And now look, it looks like a, a flag or a sign. And I think I, I did it the opposite side that I did last time. Let's clip it on like that. Our friendship tips the scale. And there you have it. I don't think it's too difficult, this project. Do you guys? I think it's, it's doable. And I think it would be doable if you're going to make a bunch of them, too, if you needed to make them for a party or something. Super cute. What do you guys think? Do you love Measure of Love? Have I convinced those of you? Surely there aren't people out there who said they don't want the stamp set. Surely not. Now, let me show you a couple of other things before you go. Um, where did that card go? Right here. Yesterday, I ended up with five projects from the stamp set. Yesterday, I showed this one on my blog. And you're like, what? How's that from the stamp? Well, look, there's this right here. These flowers, it's two-step stamping. And so I did it, and it's a perfect little circle, so I punched them out. Isn't that cute? And I stamped them all over the background, so there's that. And then on Monday, I've got another 3D project with a special treat inside of it. All right, so Monday, there'll be a video tutorial posted, so make sure you check back on Monday for that one, okay? Okay, so let me just remind you guys, um, if you want the make and takes for free, your order has to be in by Monday at midnight. Um, the make and takes will go to anybody who spends over $35 and uses the host code. If you if you bump your order up, for every $50 you spend, I will send you your, your choice of Stampin' Blends. Um, make sure you click that link under this picture. It'll take you to the form to tell me which color you want so I can order them for you. Um, what else was I going to say? So you can double dip here. You can get make and takes and free Stampin' Blends if you use this host code by Monday at midnight. Starting on Tuesday, the make and take offer goes away, but the Stampin' Blend offer remains until August 2nd, okay? So check out your wish list. What do you want? Stampin' Blends, they're $9 a pack, and I'm gonna give you a free pack for every, every $50 you spend. You have to use the host code though, right here. You have to, you can't get the Stampin' Rewards and get the blends. You have to choose. And the blends you're getting, if you spend $150, you're going to get three sets of blends, which is $27 worth. If you use your Stampin' Rewards, you're only going to get $15 worth. So it would behoove you to not um, get the Stampin' Rewards. You're on your own. Use that host code so I can send you the Stampin' Blends. Okay? If you have questions about that, let me know. I will be on vacation beginning tomorrow. Until next Saturday, I will be out of town. Um, I will be checking email once a day, maybe every other day, so be patient with me. Um, the other things that we talked about were the deadlines for the um, All-Star Tutorial Bundle, subscription, and the paper and ribbon share. Okay, those are coming up on August 2nd as well. I'll send you guys some reminders. I'll send an email. I'll post on Facebook to remind you. But... If you want the make and takes, that order has to be in by Monday at midnight. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, yes, Susan, $50 and the tutorial. Yes, so if you spend $50 this weekend before Monday, you're going to get free stamp and blends, free make and takes, and the all-star tutorial bundle. Right? That's pretty amazing. Now, if you wait until Tuesday and spend $50, you'll get free stamp and blends and the all-star tutorial. The make and take order ends on Monday. Okay? Hope that all makes sense, you guys. Let me know if you have questions. I appreciate you. Thank you. I will be back the first week of August. 
Um, and I already have those projects planned. Get ready for fall and for Christmas because it's coming and I'm so excited. All right, you guys, I will talk to you later. Have a great weekend. Bye guys. Well, let's see if I can, if I can end our video. There we go. My phone is dark and I can't see it. Bye.